Greetings and welcome to Denison Middle School, home of the Panthers, where our mission is to provide a diverse 21st century learning experience. My name is Mrs. Christian, and I am honored to serve as principal of this great school. I would like to introduce our administrative team. First, Mrs. Smith is our assistant principal of curriculum. Mr. Thomas is our assistant principal of administration. Mr. Hoopley is our assistant principal too. And Mrs. Cheatham is our dean of students. Now, this year, masks are optional, but strongly recommended. We will have masks available for scholars requesting one. There will also be a moment of silence at the start of each day. Please discuss with your scholar how you want them to use this silent time. Decide if it's for prayer, meditation, or a mental recitation of an affirming phrase. Whatever you decide, it must be silent. Our theme for this year is reimagine everything and dream big. And that's exactly what we will do. Today, we will provide an overview of our school from a scholar's perspective on the first day. Scholars will enter campus through one of two gates. Bus riders will enter this gate that is located behind the cafeteria. Our car riders, bikers, and walkers will enter campus through our four street gate. At either point of entry, there will be a master listing tape to the wall where scholars will identify their first period teacher and staff available to help them locate that classroom. Welcome back, scholars. Once you have identified your first period class, we would like to encourage all scholars to start their day off by stopping by the cafeteria to pick up a breakfast. All breakfast and lunch are free to all scholars. Hand sanitizers are stationed at the entrance of the cafeteria. Have your student ID number ready to be entered on the keypad. If you're not sure what your number is, be ready to provide your first and last name to the cafeteria staff. All scholars will pick up, your, pick up their breakfast and report directly to their first period class. Staff will be stationed throughout the campus to assist you. Let's dream big and enjoy your first day back to school. Scholars will notice directional arrows as they transition through the hallways. Always make sure you are walking in the direction of the arrow. Hi, my name is Connie Smith and I am the Assistant Principal of Curriculum at Denison Middle School. My job is to make sure that all students have a schedule and classes at their particular grade level. When students first arrive on campus, they will enter at the appropriate place and they will know where their first period teacher is by looking at the wall. Once they get to first period, their first period teacher will have their class schedule. This is the schedule that they need to follow. The first two days of school, we will be doing a straight seven schedule, meaning students will attend every class period for around 50 minutes. This year, we will be following a modified block schedule at Denison Middle School. Monday and Thursday are odd days where students will attend periods one, three, five, and seven. Tuesdays and Fridays are even days where students attend periods two, four, five, and six. Students will attend fifth period every day for about 60 minutes. Wednesdays are a straight seven day where students will attend all seven periods throughout the day for about an hour each. Each class period on the modified block schedule is scheduled into bell work, direct teach time, student-centered learning, and closure time. The structure in the longer periods will allow students to learn the most and make the most of the longer class period. Each day is built in a 20 to 25 minute of silent reading time as well to increase the reading skills of our Denison students. Scholars are placed in classes based on the test scores on FSA math and reading, as well as STAR test scores. We will progress monitor throughout the school year to make sure students are progressing and placed correctly in the classes and receiving the support 
that they need when it is required. The day promptly begins at 9 o'clock and ends at 355 when we release students to buses. Next, I will discuss the Denison Middle School dress code. Each grade level is required to wear a specific colored Denison t-shirt. Sixth grade will wear the color gray, seventh grade will wear world blue, and eighth grade will wear black. All grade level t-shirts can be purchased at the school. As part of the uniform, students are allowed to wear khaki bottoms. All bottoms must be hemmed with no frays at the bottom or holes or cuts in the pants. Bottoms are worn at the waist with no undergarments showing. Shirts are to be worn tucked in at all times at the waist, and if you're wearing pants with belt loops, then a belt must be worn. Backpacks are also allowed this year, and shoes must be closed toe. If your student wants to wear Crocs, then they must wear the strap over the heel. Parents and students, also as part of your supplies for this year, not only are you allowed to bring those backpacks, but you are allowed to bring earbuds, we would like for you to have pencils, pens, and notebook paper. Also, as part of the dress code, students are allowed to wear hoodies and jackets to school. Hoodies must be the same as their grade level color, and jackets can be jackets that are able to button up or zip up in the front. Also, have a conversation with your students that when they're wearing their hoodies, Hoods cannot be worn at, on campus at any time. Students, another thing I wanna to talk to you about is electronic devices here on campus. Students are allowed to have their electronic devices on campus, but those electronic devices need to be put away in silence. They're not allowed to be out at any time on campus or inside the classroom. Hello scholars, and guess what? You've made it to the end of the day. But first, let me introduce myself to you guys again. My name is Mr. Hinckley, and I am one of the assistant principals. I am very excited to be here at Denison Middle School this year. And remember, together we are going to grow and reimagine learning the Denison way. But first, let me explain our dismissal procedures to ensure that you arrive home safely every day. At the end of the day, you will hear on the loud intercom where exactly you need to report to. If you are a walker, you will report to Forest Gate Street. If you are a car rider, you will report to Forest Gate Street. If you are a bus rider, you will see me in here. And you will look up at the screen behind me to see your bus number. Again, I am Mr. Hinckley. I look forward to an invigorating year where we are going to grow and learn together. And thank you. Scholars and families, we hope this video has been helpful as you enter middle school. Remember, there will be staff available to assist you so that this year is a great year. Remember, reimagine everything in green blue.